Hi, uh, welcome Blessings with John. Uh, today we're going to try 4 No One by the Beatles. Um, I've changed the key, sorry. It's a big piano song and uh, just uh, instead of doing it in the key of B, I lowered it to the key of A to make it a little bit more accessible on the ook. Okay, so... Sorry, <laughs> that one's a tough one. Crept up on me there. All right, I didn't practice it. <laughs> All right, so let's go over it. What do we need? Uh, the first thing, so what I just played was I played uh, a verse and followed by another verse and then I went to the chorus and stumbled along as best I could until I totally screwed up the E sus4 chord. Okay. So, uh, the form of the song is verse, verse, chorus, verse, solo, chorus, verse, verse, chorus. So basically, if you just do what I just did uh, three times in a row, you have the song, because the solo is exactly a verse, so um, you, don't have to, uh, you don't have to change it at all. So, uh, let's go over the chords. So, like I said, I changed the key from B. Uh, I, I didn't want to be in the key of B. So I change it to A, uh, and the piano is doing a walking bass type thing, you know, and that's very difficult for the uke, seeing how we don't have a really low string to, to imitate, so we're in big trouble, right? So I played an A chord, and um, my strum is uh, basically down, down, up, down, down, up. Um, that's what I did. I changed the strum too, so the piano is more like boom, down, 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 boom, down, down, down. So you could do that too if you'd like throughout the whole song. That's a real simple way of playing it. But for the uke, I did down, down, up, down, down, up. And the A chord is a fourth string, second fret, third string, first fret. And then my next chord, I went to an, uh, I tried to add a G sharp, so it's kind of like an A major seven. Um, so I, I went back. I, I probably did this. I can't remember how I did it, but you could just smush your finger back. So it's the fourth string first fret. Uh, I may have changed like this. I don't remember how I did it, but uh, you could do it like that. Then you could do a fourth string third string first fret, and then the open first two strings. Uh, you could jam your second finger back. I might have done that. I don't remember. And then, <clears throat> then you need an F sharp minor. So it's going to be the 4th string 2nd fret, 3rd string 1st fret, 2nd string 2nd fret, and open 1st string. And then I'm going to just let go of that 2nd string. So that's I'm, I'm calling that an F sharp minor with E in the bass, but basically I'm just trying to add that, that E note to the chord. It ends up being an A chord. Okay? Uh, and then I want to go, uh, then I, I go to a D chord. 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd string, 2nd fret, open 1st string. Then I need a G chord, uh, third string, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. That's my G. Then you're just back to A. So that's your verse. So let's let's go through that. So A to the, with the G sharp, and then the F sharp minor. Then add that E, and then the D chord to the G. So here you're going to need a B minor chord. So I'm going to bar the second fret and then fourth string, fourth fret. Now I need an F sharp seven. That's a second string, second fret, fourth string, third fret, 
third string fourth fret and first string fourth fret. Okay, that's my F sharp seven. So it's a B minor to the F sharp seven. B minor for three times. Then the F sharp seven again. B minor again for like three times. Then you're gonna go to this E sus four to an E chord. I have a lot of difficulty playing E on these small little ooks. Uh, so the sus4 just, you know, didn't help me out at all. Uh, first string, second fret. Fourth and third string at the fourth fret, and then my pinky's going to go on the second string, fifth fret. Okay? That's my sus, my E sus4. And then I just drag my pinky back to the second string, fourth fret, and to release the uh, tension. So sus4. To the E. And it seems like this fermat is on those two chords when the piano is playing. They take their time with it. Time kind of ceases to exist for a moment. A fermata is a hold sign, so that's really all they're doing there. Um, the E chord, if you missed it, ends up being the uh, first string, second fret, and then four, four, um, sorry, fourth, third, and second string at the fourth fret. Okay? So that, the chorus is, uh, you only do the chorus one time through. B minor to the F sharp 7 to the B minor and it stays on it for a while and the F sharp 7 again the B minor E sus4 to E and then you're back to the A to complete the song okay that's all there is to it So you got, you know, verse, verse, chorus, and you do that three times in a row, and that's the whole song. Okay, the original key is B, uh, which I thought about doing, but it, it, it ended up easier in the key of A, and those, so that's why I changed the key. So you could just put a capo at the second fret and do everything I we did, and it would be in the key. But um, anyway, play more ook. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.